Uh, we've got a Duna transfer, looks like. Looks like a good time for a Duna transfer. Do we have any Duna contracts? Well, there was a seismic survey thing, but that's not very lucrative. Well, maybe it's okay. Everything else is is jewel except for Moho. What I, I forget the phase angle for Moho. I don't go to it very often. Let's see about Moho. What is the phase angle for Moho? Phase angle for Moho is negative two fifty one, which is a hundred and nine. Well, we're we're not right right now we're currently 270 or negative 90 okay do know it is seems to be a lot of jewel stuff yeah well that's because we we're planning on that maybe she just time warp to the jewel stuff and start sending stuff over but we don't have that much funds oh we have a plan to flag on Minmus to do okay uh that should be easy enough. Let's get Bob to do that. Let's just take care of that quickly. Get something done. And then we'll think about Duna. There isn't a Duna contract. Okay, Bob. I need you to transfer over to your favorite lander. Let's make sure the lander is all topped off with fuel. There's no more fuel there. Okay. Okay, I think we're all set to head back down. So, more Minma Science because we lost all that other Minma Science with the loss of our second Kerbal in this series, Adkan Kerbin. So if you're just joining us, I'm not a happy camper. Uh, looks like we haven't landed here. Uh, yeah, we haven't landed in this area. This area is different from this area. Any more of the big puddles that we haven't landed on? There's something here. But we're not really in an orbit to hit that this time. I don't know, it seems like uh, this puddle and this puddle are two separate ones. Maybe we should go for this. But then again, this is in proper daylight, so... And by the time we come back around, it'll have rotated underneath this orbit, so... Probably better this way. Okay, I think we can get our descent trajectory right around... Here. take off RCS we don't need it which way there we are looks like we're all clear of the station very good alright so right now we're bringing Bob Kerman back down to fill a contract for planning a flag on Minmus which he has done so well on so many occasions uh, most of these flags have been planted by Bob How long has Bob been around Minmus? Tough to say. Because uh, I keep switching in between vessels. I can't use that timer. Um, I guess he's been around Minmus almost as long as Cochrane Station has been up, so I could check in the tracking station. Not very long, though. He hasn't generated much science in Cochrane Station. Is this the right place? Oh no, this this is not the right place. Uh, we need to land over there. Um, let's do an inclination change. Head to the east. We need to head east. Okay, well that's looking better. Remember, we've only got tiny little thrusters on this thing. Not much power. 
should be pretty obvious, by the way. The fuel is going down in hundredths of units of liquid fuel. Yeah, the mob prop should be enough to get me going everywhere. Yep. Well, let's make sure that we don't hit anything. It's time that's the tricky part. Yeah, we've got a thousand meters per second just on this. Let's make sure we don't smack into those hills. Okay, so for those just joining, this has been somewhat of a tragic thing. Uh, we we lost Adkan Kerman, only our second Kerbal to be lost. Uh, the first was Jeb. Uh, so, parachute uh, mistake on my part. And we lost a lot of science with Adkan as well. He was bringing back all the science Bob did. Bob has been hopping up and down on Ninmus for a while now. And Adkan lost all of that science. And that 1000 is not including the monoprop, yeah. But we don't have that much time, come on. We need to cut our velocity while over this uh, flat. Hopefully it's a totally new flat, and not some duplicated flat. Jeb always goes first. Yeah, well that was a science junior. It actually was a similar mishap to what we had here with the capsule flipping over because of the center of mass. Except uh, with Adcan we recovered that part, but made a mistake on the parachute. Actually, maybe we should just try the RCS only version of this. I think uh, you guys noted that the RCS might actually be more powerful than the than the thrusters. Should be equal. Yeah, yeah, four, four, and four, right? Well, it is convenient that they're equal. That means the suicide burn countdown works for both of, both versions. Okay, here we go. RCS only descent to Minmus. Not not a surprising thing. I'm sure many others have done this before. I like how it goes to centimeters on the suicide burn. Come on, get down there. There we go. Okay. Let's get the ladder that everybody gets irritated by because I keep it extended while on ascent. Down. And then Bob, EVA for us. Remember this time your main job is actually to plant a flag, so let's just get you to do that right away. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... In fact, uh, he's getting up there. Okay, uh, so EVA report. Oh, uh, this is just the flats. We've been here before. Uh, well, we can keep data since we lost that data. So yeah, we've been here before, but we can keep the data because we lost it before. Second trip to the flats. And I think uh, four at can. Okay. No, I, I did it. Um, oh, unless you mean on the on the ladder. No, uh, we don't have any new science. We transmitted that before. Probably we transmitted the one on the ladder before too. Yep. Okay, let's do the exterior science as well. All uh, seismic data, keep data, take data, log temperature, keep data, take data, log pressure data, keep data, take data, observe materials bay, keep data. Ah, here he has to scooch up. And here's where all the fun begins. Okay. 
Ah, man. Go forward. Uh, go forward, forward, forward. Okay, there we go. Collect data. Remove data. Restore. Observe mystery goo. Keep data. Collect data. Remove data. And restore. Did it give me much money? Hello. Contract. Uh, where are we? I think it must have satisfied it. Oh, there we go. Plant flag on Minmus. Check. Uh, some money, but it was an easy thing to do in the first place. How much did it give me? 87,000. And of course we got the initial part. He didn't hop so much this time. Okay, so all that is stowed. Uh, I won't use RCS. Well, maybe I should use RCS in conjunction with the main thing to lift off. Okay, so uh, let's see where we're at. Distance grab data? Eh. Not a big priority. So we're over here. Delaying will only make the inclination with the station worse or else we'd have to go around all the way. So let's just get up there and we'll meet up with it somehow. Okay, here we go. And let's RCS up a little bit faster. Let's get the gear up and the ladder up. I don't think that's the right place for our target. Uh, it's dead west, that's not right. We, we need to head uh, north... northeast. So yeah, I was thinking of making a big airplane install with B9 uh, procedural parts, FAR, uh, maybe Fire Spitter as well, and the uh, Bahabuto Dynamics, and maybe some other space plane thingamajigs. Should cover all your uh, all your stuff, and plus I'll get some other aircraft. Oh, this is too much. Uh, well, I can I can see how we can meet it up with it. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't need it. Uh, I, I, I know your your plane might not need it, but if I'm going to build a new install of KSP, I'm probably going to use it for more than just one plane. So you've got me uh, started on this whole airplane install of KSP thing. So I'm going to try and hit it over here at that node there. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Depends how much time I have and when I can get to it. It's a delta wing. That is quite all right. Okay, this seems to be getting away from us. All right, let's try more of it. Let me make an adjustment at Apoapsis to uh, to hit our target at the predetermined location. Uh, that's too much.
But it would be a lot harder to do this sort of thing around anything except for Minmus and maybe the smaller moons, including the moon itself. I suppose it wouldn't be too hard doing it over there. Is it usually hard to keep the wings sturdy? You put on quite a few struts which help. Um, well, mostly rigid by the way. Well, um, I, I usually put one strut per wing, but that's about it. I haven't had uh, a B9 procedural wings, of course, it has a mass strength ratio option, right? So I don't know if you've toned that down or not. I don't know how that works with FAR. Whether FAR actually responds to that mass strength thing. But, uh, yeah, um, I don't know, it seems to work out fine, but watch out, I haven't tried it out with 1.0 and all. So maybe in 1.0 it's worse than it was before. Oh, it, it helped? Okay. Yeah, but I, I'd hate to have overly massive wings myself. Here we go, once again docking with Cochrane Station. Okay, and while we're here, I guess maybe for rendezvous we can toss up that waltz again. This is a little bit too soft with the piano right now. Oh, we don't have electric charge again. Shucks. Okay, docking the hard way. Yeah, I use RCS for docking. I'm doing that now. I just wanted to give myself an initial push towards the station. Okay, there we go. RCS off. Okay! Purple lighting of the station finally on. And Bob is back. Okay, well, uh, mission accomplished. Bob can transfer back into the lab to do more science. If I can find his hatch. There we go. Okay, and processing is continuing. Yep, researching. Alright. So, back to Space Center. Okay, so uh, let's see about our station contracts. Maybe at, at, at least build one in the VAB before, uh, before quitting today. So, what does our contract say? We need the usual antenna docking port power and five kerbals. We also need a surface outpost on BOP, but we can hold off on that idea. We need science data from space around Leif, so what, whatever station we send up there probably should have some capacity for science. So if we take a look at our uh, Minmus, sign, Minmus station on the unflippable. We can take the unflippable off. Uh, we don't need the research lab. That'll save us some Delta V. But this is basically, uh, well, we're missing one Kerbal because we don't have the lander on this. Mark II lander can. It could fit, but it's heavy. Kubla module is also heavy. Command pod. I guess I could see that. Instead of this nose cone assembly here, stick the command pod on top. It won't detach or anything. More batteries? Um, yeah, maybe it should do. Uh, but uh, uh, you might not see, we've got uh, batteries tucked in here. Though you can see from down there, I suppose. Uh, we don't really need a parachute, we just need a nose cone on top, since that's not going to decouple. It's just for the extra... Yeah, I might not need so many solar panels. I'll, I'll take a look at that. But let's go top down first. 
Uh, so, uh, just a nose cone. Oh, that doesn't really fit, does it? They really made the top of this just for the parachute and nothing else, huh? Could offset it. True. As long as it doesn't glitch or anything. Problem is the hatch. I, I have to make sure that the hatch is not obstructed. Well, you know what? Uh, we could transfer the Kerbal inside to this if uh, it is obstructed, so I guess it's not a problem. Decoupler and shoot and just call it an escape pod? We need more than a decoupler and shoot, but... Yeah, I've pushed the nose cone. This doesn't look too bad, but I do like the idea of having it being functional and have the decoupler and parachute. But then we'd have one extra Kerbal on Lathe, huh? <laughs> Basically, that's what we're talking about here, right? We're not going to be sending a Kerbal this time, of course. Anyway, I'll, I'll think about that. We don't need this anymore. What we do need is just so that it still acts like... Ooh, uh, I guess we could put a small docking port on top and the big docking ports on the sides. Oh, that looks horrible too, though. I guess that looks a little bit more interesting. Ah, yeah, you guys just suggested that. Okay. Extra Delta V? Let's, let's not call it Extra Delta V just yet. Uh, we have to see how the launcher deals with all this mass. Um, stump some solar panels. Do we have the nice big solar panels yet? Have I not unlocked those? That's trouble with not bringing the science back. I don't know if this is going to survive uh, Leif arrow breaking very well. We know how that worked. No, the docking board that has the cover wouldn't uh, fit on the top anyway. That's uh, 1.25 meter power. I don't think I've unlocked it yet. We can put docking ports on the side though, but I'm not sure whether they're going to overheat or not. I mean, we could do this sort of thing directly. Put them on the adapter, that way they'll be shielded by the rest. Uh, I was partly more concerned about the way up, actually. For the arrow brake, yeah, I guess the arrow brake is the worst part. Let's move them up, like you say. Not exactly the most photogenic way to have them, though. Especially since craft will be sticking off in god knows what direction. Uh, we do we have the we do have the radial attachment points to turn them. We definitely know that we don't want it clipping that thing. I guess that's a way to go. We're not sending a Kerbal up, so we don't have to worry about uh, if it fails. They seem a bit crooked. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so 2,000 Delta V, 2,981. Is that enough to actually get us to uh, Leith Orbit, not just to Jewel, Leith Orbit? Is everything properly protected? Do we need monopropellant? So many questions. Now, presumably our Leith Rescue Mission is going to be docking up with this in order to uh, refuel. That's the plan. We don't really have enough fuel, but we could always add another module to it with the extra fuel. I don't think that rescue mission is gonna need RCS. I mean, mod propellant. Let's call this Leif, Leif station for now. Uh, I'm not uh, sold on it being our, our real station, but we need to add antennae because that is a requirement for the contract. So we're not going to call it Serenity unless it's uh, at the location and nice and stable and everything. Oh, we should add a Kerbal Engineer system to it too. Ah, this, this version has fairings. Well, let's see how much Delta V we have with fairings. Maybe I'll change my design options in that case. Um, well, the, the launcher has quite a lot of Delta V with this fairing still.
You don't know uh, how much Joule needs or Jupiter? Joule needs about 2,000 or so. Jupiter from launch... Oh, uh, from launch I'm not uh, counting. That's uh, Joule 2,000 after launch in orbit. Uh, Jupiter, I can check for you. I've done the math. Uh, let me get the math. Now, this is not including aerobraking at Jupiter, because aerobraking at Jupiter is sort of dangerous, so we're assuming you have to slow down at Jupiter as well. Uh, 14,438 from Earth to Jupiter, assuming Earth orbit. Okay, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to ponder this, because I don't want to launch something this expensive, 182,000, without giving it a good thought here. So, uh, see you Saturday, everybody.